In this case, we're looking at a, a preloaded um, Minuteman hose load on an inch and three quarter cross lay configuration on this particular apparatus. So when we look at the hose bed, we're going to see a couple of distinct things. On this side, we've got our nozzle section, which, as you can see, comes off of the bottom. And then uh, in this case, we have a 200 foot hose load, so we have 100 foot in each stack. Uh, so on our nozzle section, our nozzle side, we've created this loop and just essentially flip that nozzle up over the top. What this little step does is by flipping that nozzle up over the top and placing our, an additional loop on the opposite side, it gives us the ability to pull this load from both sides, allowing the hose, this stack, to ride on that bottom section. So even though we're not, if we want to pull it from the other side, and it, having the nozzle even or starting with the nozzle in the hose bed itself limits our capability to deploy from the opposite side. So by extending that line out a little bit and just flipping that nozzle back up over top of itself, it gives us that, that ability to deploy off both sides. Now, the second aspect that you're going to see is you're going to come up and see on the second stack we've placed a loop right in the middle of our 100 foot. So we've loaded the first section where we made our connection, we've made a loop, and that loop is on the other side as well. And what this loop does is it, it gives us the ability to assure that we are clearing this hose and coming from the middle of this stack as opposed to clearing the stack from the bottom. When we clear the stack from the bottom, a lot of times what tends to happen is we pull this hose, we pull this hose out, we get 10 foot from the truck, and then we end up with a pile of hose. By pulling from the, by pulling from the middle, excuse me, what it does is it gives us the flexibility of having our backup firefighter who comes up and all he's got to do is, is if we're using a two-man pull, he reaches up, grabs that middle stack and walks away from the vehicle. We're, and we're guaranteed to clear that bed. All he's got to do is take a quick look back, make sure that the, the bed is cleared because this stack obviously won't be here. This is our shoulder side. This becomes our, uh, our setback side, so to speak. The one thing that determined which side we placed the nozzle on was where that connection comes up from underneath. On, in this particular truck, that connection is oriented more towards the divider, so we chose to put the nozzle on the opposite side. Less likelihood that it's going to get caught, and we know that this side comes out first, so we have the ability to clear that more easily, placing it on our shoulder. When you look at this hose load, <clears throat> we have the nozzle in the front, and orient to the front and the, the secondary or our second pull is oriented towards the divider. In the case of the when we go to load this rear hose bed what you're going to have is the exact opposite. Because of where that discharge comes up in the middle that our secondary or setback stack and our nozzle section will be oriented towards the rear. So what's real important in the case of the Minuteman is when you look at this load understand what you're grabbing and, and when to grab it.